We're following Hollow's Lantern around right now. It shoots out physically simulated um, meteors. So there's not like a preset animation path that they follow or anything. Um, it's really just dependent on, you know, the positioning of the volcanoes and the force that they shoot these out and the gravity that attracts them. Um, so sometimes they can go flying off into space and, you know, that's fine because we wanted this to be, you know, more simulated, but it doesn't happen too often. Um, usually, this one, which we'll watch, they land right on target, they hit the mm -hmm. planet. Um, so I'll drag out a prefab and I can show you guys how that works. Just get a little closer to the surface. All right, here's a meteor. Um, first thing you'll notice is, hey, there's a light on it, um, which helps you know, feel these, make these things feel like really glowy and intense. Okay, so um, the main shader on the meteor is this height blend. Um, what we use the height blend for is to basically like represent the like heating and cooling of this meteor. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a height map for the level of the like rocks on the meteor, and then it blends with basically a we call it a glow level, but it's like the level of the lava. Um, we have a control for like you know the width of that blend as well. Um, but so when it, the meteor is really hot and it's just been shot out of um, Hollow's Lantern, it'll be um, super bright, and then um, it cools over time, and then as it enters the atmosphere, it starts to heat up again, mm -hmm. um, which is you know just a nice little way to make it feel physical. Yeah. Um, and you know it's just got uh, regular materials other than that blend. But I can break down the particles as well, because those are neat. Um, so we have eight particle systems for the shrapnel of the meteor when it bursts. So each particle system corresponds to a specific um, part of the mesh. So for example, if I highlight this, Meteor Shard 1, um, this is like a specific cutout that we took of the meteor. So it's not like, you know, random bits. These are the eight component parts of the meteor with a particle system for each one. Um, which, you know, helps it feel a little bit more believable when it breaks. It's not breaking into arbitrary pieces. It's, you know, the pieces that it would break into. Right. Um, we have two other effects uh, called the lava and the juice, which you cannot drink, um, that show, you know, like the, the liquid explosion of it when it lands. Yeah. We have one that's larger scale. We have one that's smaller scale because it just helps it to feel a little bit more physical when you have kind of that layering. Um, then... That's most of it, but another thing we have is a smoke trail, which we can't show uh, uh, if we're not in play mode because it basically it spawns smoke particles as it moves. But okay. you know, if this thing isn't moving, you won't see them. 